What up, dudes? Dudes and dudettes, Major League Buck kicking his back in town. <laughs> What's up, YouTubers and YouTuberettes? It is I, Connor Arm CEO, bringing you another trailer reaction, and it's the sequel of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, where you get the four awesome ninja teenagers. Donnie, Leo, Raph, and Mikey teaming up with Megan Fox once again, along with CW's Hooded Vigilante, but now the Hockey Mask Sports Vigilante, Stephen Emile as Casey Jones. So here is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trailer, and let's see how it goes. Whoa! Whoa! They got the turtle van. Expose themselves and they're wearing pants. One question. Are you guys like a thing? I'm looking for Aaron Lewis. But we could work with that. Me too. Go, Steven! Go, Steven, you nail those blades! Was unexpected. I mean, I heard rumors that they were going to bring it in, bring in some awesome characters, but not only they brought Rocksteady and Bebop, and one of the actors who's actually a WWE wrestler, but now the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, is one of the most awesomest villains. He, I think. Uh, he's either Rocksteady or Bebop, but I don't remember the characters that well because you haven't really seen them as much anymore. And what was the brightest idea for having the Ninja Turtles wearing pants? They have shells that covers everything. Why do they need pants for? Well, with Mikey, I can understand because he likes showing off. And then from out of nowhere, Stephen Emil shows up as Casey Jones and whooping ass. Because that's because really, when you think about it, that's what Casey Jones usually does. He sees trouble when obviously when it's a lady, he shows up, and obviously he announces who he is and reveals his identity. And I wonder if they're going to still get to keep the story where Casey and Raph don't get along at the start. But by the looks of things, I think him and Mikey are going to be getting along, getting along in the story. And I think they're bringing in the the aliens. From another world story, you know, where it's gigantic robots and then they have the wee brain alien stomachs, well, in their stomachs. Uh, the the Krang, the Krang, uh, the Krang invasion, and uh, by the looks of things, uh, uh, Megan Fox is doing her sexy thing by showing up, dressing up like a schoolgirl, judging the way she's tucking uh, the wee shirt thing underneath, you know, like what American schoolgirls do in the movies. And uh, the Ninja Turtles got their turtle van and they have the awesome traditional manhole launcher, which is awesome. And they still have the Foot Clan by the looks of it. 
so they got the Foot Clan and they got the Krang Invasion, probably that's what they're doing. And uh, seeing Stephen Emil in action with the mask, the traditional mask, well, up to the traditional mask, along with his hockey stick and rolling in with the rollerblades. And I think he's doing an amazing performance with that. And also, you have to have April O'Neil's cameraman because, I mean, the Turtles is over without April O'Neil's traditional cameraman. He's still in that, which is great. And I can't wait to see the entire film. And by the looks of things, Raph's bandana looks a wee bit different because it looks a wee bit darker, well needed. Um, not needed, neat, you know, as in neat, just in case you didn't pick up. Um, Donatello has got a new battle bow staff, which has electrical currents on the edges. And I think Leonardo might have some new samurai katanas. Uh, I think with Mikey and Raph, I think their weapons are still the same. But uh, I have to say, I'm looking forward to seeing it, which there's a lot of movies I'm looking forward to seeing. First, there's Deadpool, which is taking place on Valentine's Day, which is everybody's looking forward to because everybody's been making a lot of Valentine's Day slogans with Deadpool. And then there's Batman vs. Superman. There's Legends of Tomorrow. And uh, there's, well, and, well, hopefully I get to see Star Wars next week, hopefully. And... Uh, Hopefully what's going to happen with uh, Season 5 of Arrow, if they're going to leave it at that, because I said in my last video, are they going to leave it at Season 5? And see what's going to happen with The Flash, if he does defeat Professor Zoom when the mid-season uh, uh, premiere start with Arrow and The Flash. And I wonder how Supergirl is going to get along. And I wonder what other uh, CW comic book related uh, TV shows they're going to do. I would really love to see them try Green Lantern again. You know, like, really try again harder this time. Like, uh, he gets the ring. He did, he stays on Earth. for Well, I think in the stories that he stays on Earth for a while and then he goes to Oa. Or he goes to Oa for a while and then comes back to Earth. And I heard rumors that they were going to do a Nightwing TV series. Which, uh, in one stage, I dressed up as my own Nightwing to help promote it. But uh, nobody knew about it, and I only did it uh, for free comic book day, which I love to do. I love dressing up, which I'll be doing again this year with my new costume that I've been designing. And I'll be putting pictures up on my Twitter account, and I'll leave the link on when I soon do it. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, fair point, I would love to see the comic of the Gotham Sirens where you have Catwoman, Poison Ivy, and Harley Quinn. Um, I don't know if people are going to like seeing Superboy series, which means it's a spin-off of the Supergirl series, but I think... We should give that another season or two to see if they're actually going to expand the entire Superman family. And I wonder what's going to happen after season one of Supergirl and if they're going to continue season two. But until then, this is my trailer reaction and opinions and reviews and my happiness towards the sequel. I am Connor Arms CEO, wishing you a very ha happy morning. Merry Christmas, and to those who celebrate Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah, if Hanukkah is still going. So until then, my next reaction, whenever. Overnight.